Hello and welcome to Psionic Awake. It's a roguelike where you build up your base during the day in order to survive waves of unbelievable amounts of enemies during the night. But let's give it a look. So if I get close in here, okay, now I'm inside this fortress area. I get to shoot out like that. I've also got a special ability. Let's see if I can use it here. Ooh, that's cool. <laughs> that is actually really cool. And we level up. A football. Okay, these are all passive weapons. Got it. When dashing, throw multiple grenades. So it's a protector while I dash. I think dashes are usually a good way of defending yourself. So magnetic, pick up range up. Experience gain up. Experience gain at the beginning. Okay, that might make sense. I'm leveling up a lot here very, very quickly. I'm assuming that will not happen as much as uh, as I go along. Water element. When level up, summon water element. It deals ice damage, has a chance to freeze. I'm probably going to level up as much later on, so maybe try out this football thing? <laughs> when running, play a football. When running. I don't know how to run. What's going on? Okay. Growth, get more experience gain. This is insane. Why am I leveling up so much? It seems excessive. Okay. Upgrade my anti-tank grenade. <laughs> oh, we just dashed there. So you can see the grenades coming out, but elite monsters will drop coins. We will automatically pick them up near the fortress. So it doesn't seem like I can actually leave this little spot I'm in during the night here. So ice damage plus one ice AOE range plus 10%. So that's for when I shoot out my special attack. Sure. We'll shoot a special attack and do that push that direction. So we got to guard against these guys and our soldiers there aren't doing quite enough. Maybe an upgrade to our ice weapon would be good. Sprint, running speed up, enemy speed down. Eh, keep going for growth. It feels like that's probably not a bad idea for me. Upgrade the ice ball again. Probably decent as well. So it seems like the ice ball doesn't disappear until it hits the enemy or maybe it just has a specific range. Yeah, just going to go constantly for growth even though it's Kind of ridiculous here at the beginning. Be careful not to let the fence break. Monsters can't hurt the psionic awakened in the fortress, but soldiers are not so lucky. I don't think I want to sacrifice my soldiers, thanks very much. Upgrade the shotgun. I really like this grenade idea though. I might keep pushing that way and then just keep relying on my my special attack there. Ice bound, ice damage up. Go for that. Gosh, there's some big, big enemies out there. Okay. Anti-tank grenades. <laughs> Ice block, ice psionic plus 50. Mm, okay, I like the ice idea, I suppose. Look at all these bombs. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's because I keep upgrading the bombs. Sprint, knockback, reinforcement, physical knockback rate. Sure, yeah, keep pushing them back. It's probably a good idea. Let's send out this uh, bolt this way. Maybe that'll help. Oh my gosh, they are really coming in a lot. Holy cow. Another upgrade though. Another ice ball upgrade, probably a good idea. Look at all those bombs. Okay, we're gonna send the ice ball that way and we're gonna go this way start shooting. Ice damage plus one, ice frozen plus five percent. Yeah, this is crazy. I mean, probably, probably going to be not as ridiculous on the second day, but that first day was just upgrade after upgrade. Jeez. We're safe for the time being, and now you can go out. You may encounter a monster lair. They are very dangerous. You're strong enough to challenge. Don't worry, let me out now, and they will be purified. With each transmission, it will return to the position recorded before it came in. You have to be careful outside. You cannot be protected by the fortress. Okay, so enemies will probably show up outside here. But I feel like a lot of the damage was coming from me there. I mean, the guns were helping at first, but I think, I think they couldn't manage them as well as I could towards the end. Fortress has now issued a new mission. Please come in when you copy. Need to cut down some trees to strengthen the fortress defense, but the dead wood is used as a nest by monsters, and you're not strong enough to deal with. So come out here for the trees. <laughs> Oh, crap. Oh, gosh. We gotta go kind of towards the base a little bit, because that's a lot of enemies. I do like the anti-tank grenade. The grenade thing is wild, but maybe ice ball would be better, because I feel like I get a lot of those upgrades. Look at all these soccer balls, though. Send out that and send out some grenades, and then let's go down here and destroy some trees. Dodge this way so we can send out our grenades. Try to stick close with those. Send out this this way. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's tough to get these trees cut down. A lot of bombs out there. Should help defend me a little bit. Keep getting growth or go with ice bound. Ice damage up is probably a good idea. Even though growth seems really useful at the beginning. Chop down some trees. <laughs> I don't know if you can call this chopping exactly, but get all the gold. Get, give me that tree. The Alliance's assistance has finally arrived. Come back to buy materials. The Scourge will attack the fortress again after dark. We will record your current location and return to that location next time. Okay, so I teleport inside automatically. Buy Fey. Does this replace me or does this just add a soldier? Kind of interesting. Machine gun reinforcement. Makeup staff, add eight soldiers. Add eight soldiers, right? Like that, that's a lot, but I just get one soldier or I add eight? Or is that is that buying my soldiers back? A little bit confused there. So maybe I can only use that so many times and then after a certain point, I've got to rely on, uh, on getting more new soldiers. Okay, so soccer balls are coming out. Now I get it. Okay, so then that shoots out the soccer balls like that. And then we send out bombs that way, shoot soccer ball this way. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Okay. Football, right? Yeah, probably makes sense to call it that. I feel like focusing on ice ball, though, is probably a good idea. Send out the ice ball this way, and then send out some bombs like that. I feel like isolating what I'm focused on is probably more important. No, the devil monster appeared. The monster changed the time here. It'll be dark at all times. You can destroy the portal directly, resulting in failure. So from the left there, you can see that red red bar. Probably gotta be careful that way. We're gonna try and 
execute that monster. Increase ice damage, increase ice AoE as well. Probably a good idea. Okay, send some bombs that way. Send out our, uh, our ice ball. Really executes a lot of them. Okay, send out some bombs again that way, and then shoot the other way. Okay, shotgun increase is probably an okay idea. But the anti-tank grenades just seem to be doing so much for me. Anti-tank grenades that way, and, uh, and fire this way. Use the ice ball. How many ice balls can I shoot? Oh yeah, in the bottom right-hand corner there, you can see my mana. Increase ice AOE range, shoot out a bunch of ice balls that direction. Oh gosh, gotta fight the boss. Okay, anti-tank to destroy a lot of their people, but this boss is really dishing out a lot of damage. Careful, careful with both sides here. This is rough. Anti-tank grenade. Let's do that. Boom, send him out that way. Ice ball, oh gosh, bunch of ice balls. <laughs> ice bound, frozen, let's see. AoE range, gosh, this is tough. Throw a bunch of bombs that way. Okay, get rid of this boss, come on. Nearly there, I think, nearly there, but they are destroying a lot of the fence. Increase shotgun or increase football. I honestly don't use the football much. I don't think that I really ever notice it, so let's go with shotgun. <laughs> Can't really see it that well from where I'm at. Ooh, a treasure. Metal, when knock out 3,000 times, physical multiple plus one. Last one day. Just plus two damage, maximum number of talents. Another extra type of talent might be good. Okay, let's do it. Let's do maximum talents. That'll probably give me more options, maybe. Dodge this way. Oh crap, they all died at once. <sighs> they would've just killed so many of them. Spawn back in in our location here. Gotta go for these trees. Send out the bombs. And wait till they get close, and then we're gonna be firing. E to interact? What's this? Oh, it gets gold. Oh, that's like a treasure chest. Grab some more some more trees. So gotta survive during this as well. That's an interesting kind of mechanic. I do like that. Fire out in all directions. Fire that way. Level up. So now we're choosing a talent, and once we choose one, that's gonna be really focusing me in that direction. Sonic recovery plus 10%. Probably frost is what I want to keep focusing on in everything I'm doing here. Ooh, cutting 10 trees. I have gotten a treasure for cutting down trees down. Help will come at dawn. The price of fortress aid has been reduced. Or ice for. After the missile hits the enemy, it splits into two additional derived missiles. Let's see it happen. Oh, it's the uh, it's the extra shots that are coming out that are splitting. Okay, that makes more sense. For some reason in my head, the big shot was going to split, not the smaller ones. All right, upgrade shotgun or football shotgun. Dodge this way, keep moving forward. Feels like we want to just keep kind of moving in one direction mostly. Ooh, we got a... Uh, Got a treasure here, though. This used to be the Firearms Research Institute. After conducting psionic research, some achievements have been made. We don't have much time. We need to make some choices now. So get 200 coins. Acquire architecture, physical altar. Summon a robot or get some coins. I need 200 coins to do this. Do I have that? I'm guessing I do. I don't, I don't totally know what that's going to mean for me. Okay, but we are going to we're gonna head into this. Ooh, okay. Got put back here. Okay, so makeup staff return soldiers to me, which I can do next time if I get this soldier. Repair the wall, though. If we get extra soldiers, then makeup staff later, it'll replace them all for the same cost. I think that 240 is like a set cost. So maybe we get more soldiers. Helen, fire psionic weapon, flower of fire, wanders at random enemies, dealing area fire damage. Let's do that one. And let's also just repair the wall. I don't think I need to make up the staff. We'll just leave them as they are. We can make up the staff next time. So we have our first little uh, hero here, I think it is. Okay, they're on their way. So let's go to the edge here. Send out this that way. Ooh, we got some down from the bottom as well this time. We have a flamethrower person at the top right, so we don't necessarily have to worry about the right side as much. Okay, dash this way, but we're gonna keep shooting down and just have our uh, explosives go that way. That really worked. Okay, frost strengthening plus one. Growth or frozen. Let's do frozen. Another dodge to the left while shooting down. Shoot that down. Oh no, right side is... Oh, okay, right side came in and we lost. This is actually really surprisingly fun, but I think I want to check out another attempt. Okay, we have to have to unlock more here, but go to ability and I can do some passive upgrades. So we got 569. What can I choose here? Soldiers. So increasing soldiers is kind of an attractive idea. Talent reselect, don't really know what that... I can reroll talents right. Makes sense. And then coins up. And that is all that I have in terms of my, my monies. But I think now that I know kind of what's going on, I can maybe make some better choices. We'll see. All right, so this time around, I think I'm going to focus in on the Shotgun, maybe, might be a better idea. Definitely didn't do that in the last one, so we'll see if I can do a little bit better here with some shotgun focus. So here we go, shotgun plus one. Let's go with that. And another upgrade. <laughs> yep, very beginning is definitely going to be like that. None of these probably really for me. Max HP up is an option, but let's reselect. Knockback? Coin chance. Oh, that's tough. Eh, but let's do knockback. Let's do knockback. Try to see if we can focus in on gun. See if that will work for us. Guard metal steel. When hurt, summon several pieces of protective body metal around you. That might be important because if I'm not going to focus on the crazy uh, dodge thing, maybe the guard would be better to have. And then... Okay, sprint. Running speed. Oh, that's tempting. That way I can get back and forth quicker. Okay, a lot of things going on here. So many upgrades so early. Anti-tank grenade was really good in the last one. Is there anything else here that really speaks to me, though? We also didn't try an elemental in the last one. Oh, I'm starting to break up all my ideas here. But I want to show off the game and some of the uh, some of the different options it has. So let's do water element. So every time that I level up, I'll summon one of these little nonsense creatures. Let's reselect. 
Nothing there really speaking to me. Deadly Firearm. That seems like it makes sense for what I'm trying to go for. That way we can have as much bullet damage as we can get. Probably gonna go to the other side here in a second. Okay, shotgun. Oh wait, so do I just get the water element one time or do I get every time I level up? Let's do shotgun though. Okay, no, it's every time I level up, gotcha. <laughs> so I'm just upgrading the uh, the abilities of that elemental if I keep going that direction. Ice bound. No, I don't need I don't need ice. I need sprint. I think sprint's gonna be good. That way I can move back and forth pretty quick if I need to. And we've got our own little extra troops now. I really like the idea of having a lot of troops. So the ice elementals are kind of cool. Shotgun upgrade again. They shot a ton of damage to each shot. Hopefully that'll be enough to uh, manage to push these guys back. Speaking of pushing back, knock back up again. Okay, more shotgun. Yep, that's working out good so far. Got a treasure chest on the outside there. Don't know if I need to go get that. Physical damage, up 30%. Physical fork chance, up 20%. After the missile hits the enemy, it splits into two additional derived missiles. Do derived missiles ever split? Ooh, that's tough. 20% chance to split it into two, which is a 20% chance that it'll do 200% extra damage, right? Because if each of those derived missiles do the same amount of damage as the original, then you're actually doing 300% damage per shot. Hope what I'm saying there makes some sense to somebody. Let's do... Deadly firearm increasing my damage. Yeah, yeah, because if I keep increasing the damage of it, then the fork should do even more. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. And it does seem like that uh, that splitting thing is working pretty good. That's really clearing them out a lot faster, I think. Shotgun up again. I think so, anyway. Let's shoot once. How many does it kill? Yeah, it's a little better, I think so. Okay, let's go to the other side, though. It's starting to get overwhelmed over there. Reinforced firearm, physical damage, reload speed. Okay, we, we're choosing our next thing here, though. Do I want to go with that? Reload speed, though, is going to be really nice. I think I do have to go for that one. Reload speed is something that it does take a long time to reload. Let's go to the other side. Oh my gosh, look at all these little water creatures. Will they stay after? I wonder. Oh no, they stay with me. That's crazy. Okay, I didn't realize that. That might actually be a really kind of fun build to chest out. I didn't need to get that treasure chest. Okay, so that was kind of a waste to go. Not a big deal. I feel, oh my gosh, I feel pretty strong with this build. I don't have any pickup range here. These coins take a little bit to walk up to. Increase these guys' abilities or, well, I kind of like these guys a lot, actually. I don't want to re-roll. I'd rather just, just go with what I got there. Grab all the gold I can get. I really want to try to go for some of these bigger coins because there are a lot of these in here. Sprint up, yeah, my running speed moving up would be great. Give me some of these coins for sure because I could probably get some crazy amounts of upgrades after. Oh, dude, okay, careful, 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 careful. Kill all these things if I can. Oh, this is scaring me because those I didn't expect those things to come out, so I think I took a lot of damage there pretty fast. A little bit nervous about that. Okay, let's do water elementals though. Give me all these coins. Okay, I am so close to dead. I'm sure of it. Like, look at my screen. Let's go move faster. Okay, I got brought back in. I'm alive. I don't know how close I got there <laughs> to dying, though. That was scary. Armor piercing projectiles. Oh, piercing too. That's actually really good. Makeup staff, adding 10 soldiers is, is also something, but I think piercing is probably what I want. I have enough money for it, <laughs> which is probably like a pretty rare thing to have. And then I want to get some of these guys as well. Having the extra characters there might be good. Let's do it. Let's just buy that one and then we'll just exit. So I can add more soldiers. Oh, no, I haven't lost any soldiers yet, I don't think, but I had the choice of getting more of them I wanted to. It's kind of, could be a good idea. I'm not sure. Okay, but wow. Yeah, my shots are just ripping right through them. So I think that this style of attack is probably the better option for this character. Yeah, I've got to shoot into some of these bigger guys because I don't think the soldiers are quite strong enough to take care of them. Water elemental up. Let's do that. Feels like a good idea. Gotta make sure I'm not shooting these towers. It's a little bit too easy to, to hit the towers by accident. Deadly firearms or sprint. Sprint might be more important though. How is my health looking? Can I see that somewhere? It's up at the top, nine health. I don't know if nine is a lot or a little. I didn't actually pay attention to my, my starting health. Might be only a little bit though because, uh, oh, wait, the boss is here. Okay, water elemental increase. Okay, keep using this. We gotta get some knockback into this boss so they don't break right through my base. But look how quickly I destroyed them with this shotgun. Holy cow. Number of weapons up. Damage up. How's my damage looking? 24 damage would be 26. I mean, you know, I think another weapon is probably more more what I want there, though. Another summon would be kind of ridiculous. I'm worried that my health might be permanently down, though. It's kind of scary, but yeah, sprint up for movement speed. Movement speed up would be really nice. Let's get me over to the other side fast and to get me out here uh, gathering stuff up really fast as well. So nine HP, please. Something to give me HP back. When shooting, there is no movement speed penalty. Ooh. Fortress assistance is sometimes free of charge. Oh gosh, that's kind of wild too. Feels like cabbage would help me more long term, even though banana peel is kind of nuts. Okay, careful here, because I don't think I have any almost any health, because I don't think that I recover HP at all. Oh no, okay. I don't know if I want to break that tree. Oh, because it gives me a lot of gold if I do, but I don't know if I can take that health damage. Anything here that I really think I might like. Let's reselect. I do like anti-tank grenade, but I don't know if I want to get that against reselect. Reselect again, uh, something good. In that case, I could upgrade guard metal or go anti-tank. I did like anti-tank, so we'll take that. We're gonna dodge that way. 
And then we're going to shoot really fast into these guys, trying to get rid of them before they can shoot much. Oh, they are damaging my ice guys, or my, my water elementals. Yeah, I've got very little health left. Crap. I got to keep that in mind that you don't get health between, but man, this is fun. Reload speed. Yeah, let's, let's reduce reload speed. Ooh. What's going on? A treasure. We found a treasure. Okay. Let's just do damage up. Let's just do damage. Keeps it straightforward. Gotta shoot into these uh, ranged units because they are... They're gonna really mess with me if I don't. Please let me get that treasure chest. Water elemental plus five, though. Ooh. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, let's get let's get this treasure chest. Let's get all this gold that we can. Discount roll. Price of Fortress 8 has been reduced by 20%. Building limit plus two. Cheaper for right now might be better. Oh, crap. I missed out on some gold. So much gold there. Add extra 10 soldiers. Upgrade walls to two. I guess just another character for now. Oh, do I want to get makeup staff? Yeah, let's do it. Get a bunch of them and then increase the strength of one of our guys. Okay, leave it at that. And we have a billion of these little water guys with us, which is always nice. Two of them in opposite corners is pretty convenient too. The enemy approaches. Shotgun is super, super strong. What was that upgrade I got that uh, that made my bullets split between them? Can I get another upgrade to that? That would be really nice. Probably can't though, is my guess. No, that was four. That's a that's a treasure, so probably can't do that. Knockback increase or reload speed. Let's do reload speed. I like reload speed. That one is good. But then look at that. Look at that shot. That's pretty cool. Let's send out our ice ball. I never really do, but uh, might as well. Anti tank grenade. Yep, that one to get strong. I know is pretty powerful. Actually, they are all kind of powerful when they get strong, so you have to be pretty selective here. But uh, send out some ice that way and then move the other direction. No penalty movement speed or building limit up. Let's do banana peel. No penalty when I shoot. Reload speed down. So now I can kind of travel across without almost any penalty at all with anything. Okay. Look at all these enemies in here, though. You can't even really see them. They're so mobbed up. Anti tank grenade. Send out some bombs that way. Shoot out the ice ball that way and then move back the other direction. Yep, we are taking care of them pretty easy here. Reload speed yet again. Shoot that way and then dash this way and then shoot some more this way. Yeah. Okay, this is going good. Dawn comes. Fourth day. How many days do I got going on here? All that gold is gone. Gosh dang it. Get some free gold here as quick as I can. Send out that way. Dodge this way. Bombs everywhere. So many of them, though. It makes me a little nervous. What is this? Can I get it? Oh, I can. Some some kind of artifact. Anti tank grenades. Ooh, okay. We upgrade, so we get this, though. Eat and interact. Get a bunch of gold. Thank you. Dash this way. To send some bombs out. I want some more of those uh, those trees, though. That's actually kind of nice because they do give quite a lot of gold. So move upward, keep shooting every which way, try to seek out some trees. Reload speed down, overways, overways. Dash and snow, dash this way, send some bombs into them. Oh, but we get picked back up. But my health is so low, it's only seven. Restore 13 life. Yeah, that would be really nice. Give me back 20. Pair the wall. Restore life. Yeah, if I lose the wall, I do die, I believe. So let's do a wall repair. I got a lot of money. It'll be all right. Upgrade the walls. Let's get first aid and a lane, though. I don't know if I need to upgrade the walls. Yeah, might just leave it as it is for now. Because it always could get a free upgrade, for example. We'll have those three defend. And they're actually probably going to be pretty strong. And look how many soldiers we have, too. Do want a wall upgrade soon, though. Probably can't mess around with that too, too bad. Send out the ice that way. Dodge this way. Anti tank grenades. Keep pushing that direction. And, oh, look at all those bombs. They destroy so well. We've got a boss on the left side. So do you think... I don't know if these guys are going to be able to really take care of this side that well, though. So I want to send out some bombs that way before going back. Physical damage, knockback, or critical chance. Let's do critical chance. Dish out a lot of damage to the boss. Basically. Send out a lot of bombs. Okay, shoot the boss. Focus in on the boss. Oh, no. They're going to destroy my wall, aren't they? Instant grenade. Let's do that. Keep everyone else away so I can destroy the boss. Oh, no. Are they coming in the right side? And they're gone. Now shoot the ice ball and run in this way. Oh my goodness. They destroyed the whole wall on the right side, but they didn't manage to make it to my portal. I don't know if I like any of these. They're all last one day. Let's do critical hits. I think I critical hit most because I, uh, I focus on the guns in this one. Goodness. They've completely destroyed the right side, though. This is a little scary. Knock back up so we can kind of really push them back. It makes sense. A lot of bombs out there. And we live, but we need, need, need to repair the walls. Home planet difficulty. I beat the first little area. And I can look at some ability upgrades. Probably just go with soldiers. Can't have any of these guys yet because I think maybe they're still making them is what it's saying there. So they're not done with those heroes. If I wanted to though, I could come in here and test out another map. Oh, the second area. So you get different difficulties, but it is a lot of fun. Highly recommend you check it out for yourselves. It's free and will be in the description down below. But if you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like, even a comment to let me know. And I will see you in the next video. Bye now.